Hi guys, this is Nidhi and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Well, in this video, I am doing this festive look and uh, festive season has begun in India. Uh, we just finished with Navratri and Karva Chauth. Now Diwali is coming and uh, wedding season will start. So I think this look is just perfect if you're attending somebody's wedding or for a festive season, uh, if you plan to get ready at home, that is, uh, don't get disheartened if you guys are not going out and meeting your friends because of Corona. Uh, it's still good to, you know, get ready for yourself uh, or for other people in your house. So don't lose hope. It's just this one year in which we have to be really careful. Don't get disheartened. And uh, if you plan to get ready, then uh, get your makeup kit and get ready with me. Come on. So this is a festive look that I am showing uh, in this video. This I have done a lot of, I've played with a little bit of pink and mauve color and applied some rose gold eyeshadow here. It's a liquid eyeshadow that I applied. So I'll be showing that. And of course, uh, this is so not my color, but I just decided to, you know, uh, apply a bright pink color and I think it looks all right. I'm quite happy with it. So I'm not very disappointed. So uh, yes, so let's get started with this video and learn how to create this look start with moisturizing the face i'm using this rose gold oil from indulgio so i've taken like two three drops on my palm and applying it all over my face <laughs> my eyebrows i'm using this uh, cream gel from benefit this is shade number four So before I start with the eye makeup, I always like to prime my eyelids using a concealer. So I'm just taking this concealer from Maybelline and applying it on my eyelids because they're a little dark. Now I'm taking a blending brush which looks like this. It is a little fluffy but the tip is a little pointed here. Okay, so I'm taking this shade from my Huda uh, Beauty Mauve Obsession Palette. So this is a palette that I will be using for my eye makeup today because it has all these beautiful shades of mauve, pink and everything. So I think just this one palette is good enough to do this makeup. So I'm using this particular shade right now. Going on my crease. Now I'm taking this particular shade and a fluffy brush. Now this one is from PAC. It is 391. I really like this blending brush from PAC. It is a great, great brush to blend this uh, outer corner and also the crease. Right, so the outer corner is done. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking this black eye pencil. This one is from Faces. I'm just lining my eyes now. Taking a brush and just blending this eyeliner that I applied here. Take a pencil which you know will blend easily and don't wait too long. Uh, don't like leave the pencil or your liner for too long just apply it and smudge it immediately because once it gets dry it gets very very difficult to smudge this part now going back with that blending brush I'm doing that i'm doing right now is just i'm just blending this outer corner even more so the the mauve color that we applied in your outer corner and the black liner they merge together very well
Now again back with the first brush that I took for uh, my crease and the same color this pink I am blending the crease again Now I'm taking this liquid eyeshadow. Well, this one is from Stella, but there are a lot of other options that are available uh, in the market. Much cheaper options. And in fact, I would suggest you go for those cheaper options because, you know, honestly, the thing is with these liquid eyeshadows, they dry out very, very fast. So if you buy it, you better use it or buy a small bottle. But yes, they do dry up very fast. So. So I am applying it right here at the center right now and I will blend it with a brush and then on top of it I'll be applying another uh, powder shadow but if you want you can just leave it uh, just like this. The shade that I'm, I'm applying is uh, called Rose Gold. See as I said it dries out pretty quickly. Well this is not a very old bottle. This is pretty new and it has still dried out. So I am a little disappointed. Now, don't worry in case if you end up applying this shadow on top of this smudged liner because we will do another layer of smudged uh, coal on it. Now with a flat brush, I am just very gently just blending this. Going back with the liner, this black liner that we smudged earlier and blending it now just to make our liner a little more intense little more black I'm taking a flat brush dipping it um, here in this black eyeshadow and just I will just dab this eyeshadow on top of this liner very close to the lash line for my brow bone I'm using this matte shade from the same palette Huda Beauty Obsession palette and just applying it here Let's go on to our lashes. For the lashes, I'm using these lashes from PAC. This is number 53. Alright, lashes are done. Let's go. Let's move on to our base makeup. And I am pretty surprised that there are no fallouts today otherwise usually you know there are eyeshadow fallouts especially with this stella glitter i have experienced a lot of fallouts but i am pretty surprised that uh, i don't have to clean my face i can just straight away move on to our makeup uh, all right so moving on to the foundation using l'oreal infallible foundation absolute favorite in drugstore products that is otherwise i love nars uh, there are days when i use huda beauty also but huda beauty is too thick but so anyways we'll discuss products some other time using pack brush 003 to blend the foundation I'm taking this Maybelline concealer which is a uh, shade medium I have applied this on my highlighting points and blending it with a flat brush or if you're comfortable using a beauty blender only so just use a beauty blender Using a little bit of powder under the eye to set the concealer. A 
blank kajal in the waterline same black kajal by faces in the shade which we applied uh, in the out corner and applying that shade here in the lower lash line with the help of this uh, pencil brush time for some blusher I'm using this blusher by L'Oreal it is called sunset glow for the lipstick I'm using this shade from Stella very bright pink so let me apply this and I might just make it little darker if required using a lip brush from real technique to apply this So guys here is the complete look um, I think I'm loving the bright pink lipstick I really don't wear this color very often so it's a good change uh, I think I'm just gonna keep it uh, let's see if I want to change I'll change it later but right now I think it looks just perfect so do let me know what do you think about this look and uh, guys before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button guys and also comment below in case you enjoyed this look and I wish you all a very happy Diwali and uh, enjoy this festive season with your loved ones with your family but don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy that's more important uh, than anything else so yes take care of your health guys stay away from corona uh, and take all the precautions necessary i'll see you guys with more videos